There was a brother that was killed Sunday in South Bend, Indiana. His name was Eric Logan. Now the cop that killed him, we make sure the picture is up. His name is Sergeant Ryan O'Neill. Now the cop claimed, claimed, and we know how many times they claim things and we don't have proper evidence of anything when they make these claims. Supposedly he had a knife on him. Well, nothing wrong with having a knife on you, even nothing wrong with having a gun on you in this country. We have a second amendment right and a knife can be used for just a tool. It can be used for self-defense. A lot of things you could have a knife on you for. It don't mean that you want to hurt somebody with it. But you know, anytime a black person have anything on their person, it is a death sentence by these race soldiers. Now, the people came out pissed off about this, and rightfully so. So they had a particular rally, and the mayor of South Bend, which is the presidential candidate, Pete Buttigieg, he came out and speak with them. Now, I want you to hear a clip. Now this is more of an extended clip because CNN cut it off at a certain point. And I didn't want that cut off because see CNN, y'all, you want to expose him, but you don't want to fully expose him. So I want you guys to hear this particular clip of Pete Buttigieg engaging with black folks. Let's roll that. Six. I cannot support because I do not have evidence that there has been discipline for racist behavior in the case of but if you I'm truly running for president and you want black people to vote for you? But if you want you running for president and you want black people to vote for you? That's a downfall. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. You running for president and you want black people to support you and vote for you. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I'm not asking for your vote. You ain't gonna get it either. I will promise that there will be a review to make sure that there is no racism on this department. You can't promise that because it's already here. And that it was already here. You can't just stop saying you're gonna promise that because it's already here. It was here before you got here. And please quit talking shit to us. Ain't nothing you can do that's going to stop that racism because they're going to keep doing it. Well, are we just going to let it be there? I mean, are we just going to accept We've been fighting this, we've been fighting this all our life for, for not the racism to be honest with us, but it's there. What are we going to do about it? What are we going to do? What are y'all going to do? We're doing everything we can do. What are you guys going to do? We need help. 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 Everything in our power. Don't just talk it. Be about it. Don't talk it. Be about it. Show us. Give us proof that you can really do something about it. I'll work on that. Do you believe that Black Lives Matter? Can you say to us today, in front of all these cameras, that Black Lives Matter? Did you just ask me if Black Lives Matter? Yes. We gotta hear you say. Of course, Black Lives Matter. Then fire your car. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 what about a black life? What matters about a black life to you, Mayor Pink? What matters about a black life to you? Answer that for in just love. You say something that matters to me about my own. Answer that. How can you heal my pain? I wake up to this every morning. What can you say to me that will comfort me that I'm going to get justice for my child? Have a whole question. Ask your question, Mama. Would you want to ask the question? Ask the question, Mama. She don't need that. Okay. I've been here all my life. And y'all ain't doing a damn thing about me or my son or none of these people out here. It's time for you to do something. If you can't do it, step your ass down. And I'm tired of talking now. And I'm tired of hearing your lies. Right. Amen. And you the same one that fired a whole black man and demoted him, him and a whole nother person, to put another white man in the in, in, in police chief or whoever the fuck he supposed to be. That ain't right. That ain't fair. Where's you saying that's that black lives matter? Clearly they don't fucking matter to you or your police staff or your chief of police or all your police people that's in there or the police that killed my uncle. So what what you gonna do about that? Why is it taking so long for him to have a, for him to be fired off the police force? Him and the other police officer. Why is it taking so long? Yeah. You can't what you if you gonna tell me the truth. Here's the truth, and you won't like it. It won't satisfy you, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. What's the truth? Under the laws of this state. Under the laws. 
A mayor does not decide whether an officer is fired. So from what I heard him just say that he stated that I don't want your vote. Now, some people, of course, they're going to try to be smart and say he wasn't saying about black people. He just said about her. No, 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 no. Listen to the framing of the question. She said that black people aren't going to vote for you. This is what she stated. Instead of him saying that I want black people to vote, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. No, he said, I don't want your vote. Well, at least he is honest. And this is the issue with the Democratic Party in a sense. They don't look at us as nothing but people to come vote for them. But when it comes to dealing with real issues that affect black people, they can't do nothing about it. Notice that when they proposed to him about doing something about that racism in that police department, well, I don't know if there's any evidence. Or, oh, he quickly said that. Oh, he quickly said that. He's not going to do anything. And then when he asked her, what you going to do about it? You the mayor, Pete. What do you mean what's she going to do about it? I mean, that's been a problem the whole time. Every time it's time to challenge racism, black folks are asked, what are we going to do about it? That is y'all problem. We are the victims of your problem and you refuse to handle your problem. You could do something about it. You can truly do something about it. You can put all kinds of policies that talk about racism, save anybody is caught with any kind of racist memes. You say anything so-called racist jokes or anything racist, you're fired. That can put that in policy immediately. You're fired. No review board, no nothing. You're fired because we cannot have cops on the streets that are racist that have any kind of bias toward anyone that is in a protected group and establish that, but you don't want to do that. And he want to claim, Oh, well, we can't really, according to the laws, a mayor can't even fire a police officer. It has to be a, a board to fire them. So basically what he's saying is I can't do crap about the police. They can just run around South Bend and do whatever the hell they want to do. And I'm just kind of like my hands tied. That, that's what he's telling them. Police union is run like, like a corrupt entity. Think about that. They always protect the cops. They don't say nothing about when they do wrong. They don't even protect the cops that are doing good and being railroaded by the cops that are uh, corrupt, right? They don't do anything about it. They want the horrible cops on the streets. They want the racist cops on the streets. People need to understand. See, people don't want to get down with the get down about what's running this country. Those police unions need to be broken up. All of them. Those police unions is the problem. They are protecting racist cops. And until the people realize that police unions are the problem, you are still going to have the issue because the police chief can go so far. Really? I mean, that's technically by how it is written up. The mayor also can go so far, even with the state. See, they protect the entity. You have to understand the cops are the foot soldiers of white supremacy and they're going to protect them without them in place. The system not going to work for them. They are the violent enforcement wing of white supremacy. Now let's get back to Mayor Pete here. He exposed himself. So no black people need to vote for him. See this kind of video that come out is good when brothers and sisters press a politician like that. So y'all have to do that to all of them, not just him. Don't just single him out, press all of them and make them give an account of what they're going to do about racism, white supremacy, reparations. What are they going to do about all the police? What are they going to do about it? And then we don't want to hear nothing about, well, training. I say the first, when they mention training, say, stop right there. How is it that they can go get a school shooter and he gets arrested, but a black person barely a flinch at a cop and he gets killed. Don't tell me it's training. They train very well. They train to kill black people. Well, de-escalation. No, they can de-escalate with, with their own people. They don't de-escalate with black people. So it's not a training issue. It is a race issue. Don't ever let them get away with telling you about training and de-escalation training and sensitivity training because they're sensitive to their own people. They're not sensitive to black people. You got to hit them back like that. When you approach them, I need you guys that listening to take that message to them. Okay. I'm not going to be there all the time when these things are happening, but a lot of you are there. A lot of you have the opportunity to engage these politicians run up on them and ask them these questions, challenge them when they talk like that, because they want your vote. And if they say like mayor Pete here, well, I, I don't want your vote. Okay, cool. Well, well, Hey, no problem, man. We're going to make sure that you voted out then. That's all. We're going to find out who's running against you and do a protest vote against you just to teach you and everyone else a lesson and don't mess with us like that. We are a group of people to be respected. 
This is why I tell black folks, you must have your voter registration card because they need politics to stay in control as demographics change. This is why they're fighting so much to try to disenfranchise you from voting. I know a lot of black people are apathetic and say, I don't want to vote. I get that. Trust me, I get it better than anybody else. But when the demographics change and the numbers start changing and swinging more in your favor and not in their favor, that's how you're going to get in control. That's how you're going to take political power. But you got to do it through the power of the vote. You're not going to get it just saying, I'm just not going to do anything about it. Now, sitting out an election to prove a point is a strategy too, because the Democratic Party is the main one that has to be responsible for all of this. Because they the one and been getting all these black votes for years and black folks are still getting killed in the streets. Black folks still dealing with all the racism. Black folks are still losing out. They still being gentrified and we've been voting for Democrat all this time. So we cross our arms at them and say, you know what? I ain't doing crap until you do something for me. Reparations is one of them. Deal with these racist cops is another one. We got a lot of issues you can deal with. It's just not Mayor Pete in South Bend, Indiana. It's the whole country. It is the whole country. And then when you're hurting pain, he gonna make a little slick comment. And then he gonna say, oh, black lives matter. And then he really don't have an answer really, how do they matter at all? Then you had some of the folks coming up in the chat at the time period stating, oh, well, he left his campaign to come back and, and talk to them. They should be grateful. Great, grateful. Man, we, don't, we ain't grateful for crap. How about that? That's what you're supposed to. That's your job. You're a mayor. You're supposed to come deal with things in the city. You choosing to go run for president. Your first job is your mayor job. And the way I see the brothers and sisters are and how they feeling, in South Bend, it sounds like this has been going on for a very long time. They're tired and South Bend could jump off at any time. And I don't think he wants that because the situation is black people tired all over this country. We are sick of that. Every time you look up black people being abused, killed, and then the other group don't even want black folks to have reparations at all on top of that. They love the, the, the killing of black folks. They do because they, they, they can justify it. They have a sick, very, very sick nature of, of want to see black folks dealing with issues and problems because it doesn't justify what they're doing. Like I say, if the cops were just that way, they would do that to everybody constantly. And they don't. When you have school shooters shooting up the place and they can just walk out being arrested without being killed, it lets you know what they think. See, they think of self-preservation of their own. But when it comes to us, it's, Let's kill them. That's not a cop's job to be killing people. Their job is supposed to arrest people, let them have their day in court. That's it. That's really how supposedly the system works. Shooting someone and killing someone, that's supposed to be all in some extreme. Like school shooters, bank robbers, you know, that sort of thing. Shooting up a church. Then a police should be able to take that kind of action because at that point, you are shooting and killing folks, but shooting a, a black person unarmed or having a knife on them or whatever, or even the possibly having a firearm on them. When you have a second amendment right in this country, see that's been standard operating procedure and black folks got to start pressing these politicians on that and tell them, look, we're not going to vote for you. or we are going to vote for someone else just to show you that you don't have black people's vote in the bag? But this Mayor P guy, he just exposed himself. That's all. And bl any black folk that going to vote for him, you have the information now. You heard it out of his own mouth. We didn't make it up here. You heard it. That's why we want to make sure to put it out there. Mayor Pete does not deserve the black vote. He don't. I mean, when you, when you ask a question about racism and then he asks you, what are you going to do about it? It lets you know he's not a leader. He's not a person that you want running America. So what? When a foreign power come against America and people complaining about it, what are you going to do? Look at the people and say, well, what, what are you going to do about it? You get what I'm saying? That's not leadership qualities. And I think we got enough craziness going on in the White House right now with Trump. If that's the case, maybe we'll leave Trump where he at. We, you know, because this guy here, he, he can't even make a decision. See, the thing is, a lot of them, they'll do all that talk with, with black folk. 
when, it, when the rubber meets the road, they still gonna side with racism and white supremacy because it benefits them, I told y'all that. So the deal is, it's good that we find out who these politicians are early. Because these primaries will be coming up and black people have the proper information when they choose to vote. Well, leave me a comment, let me know think about the situation with Mayor Pete here. You know, remember, he don't want to vote, black folks. Remember that. And also, he asking you questions like, what are you going to do about racism? Not instead of what he going to do about it, being a politician. That's, like I said, that's the most weak thing you could ever tell someone when you are in leadership. And it's your job to handle those issues and problems in your city. But you're going to look at black folks. Black folks have been saving y'all forever. Can you at least save uh, yourself for one good time?